got four Radical Championships this year. It starts with the SR1 Cup, which is our entry-level championship um, for novices and people just into racing. Then we go to our Clubman's Championship, which, uh, which you can progress to from the SR1s. Always very, very popular, that one. Then we have our SR3s, and that's a more endurance spec uh, type of racing. And then right at the top, our European Masters Series, which longer races, two drivers, and literally all around Europe. The SR1 Cup has been really successful, um, not only in bringing people in to racing, which, which we did that last year with 22 drivers, it's keeping them there as well. Um, they all had a, a fantastic time, you know, you speak to any one of them and they absolutely loved it, which is fantastic. And of those 22, 20 are, are racing with us again this year, whether that's in SR1s again or keeping their car and doing clubmans or moving on to SR3s. We have developed a ladder, really, a, a, of, of endurance racing, really, a sports car racing, starting with the sr one by the time you get to the European Championship and you're racing an SR8, you're very close to the pace of an LMP2 car. So, you know, we've taken you from literally starting out all the way to, to the edge of Le Mans. Mainly, you know, you're experienced in downforce, which is a big thing that you don't experience until you're looking at top end of single seaters. So uh, there's that side of it, and it's, you know, it's, it's an affordable thing to do. Quite a lot of GT cars now have a good amount of downforce, so uh, you can use it as a stepping stone. So when you, if you get the opportunity to hop in a GT car or an LMP, you, uh, you feel fairly at home. We're selling 220, 230 cars a year all around the world. 70% um, of what we make is exported. We've got the RXC as well now, so that's our first uh, enclosed car, and that'll be racing for the first time this year in our championships in the European series. But yeah, as you say, it's, it's worldwide. 